Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to simply configure your BLLA32 ESCs using the new BLLA32 configurator app, which is currently available only on Android. But before going over the app features, I'm going to first quickly review all the options that you currently have to configure your BLLAs and BLLA32 ESCs. First, let's start with the good old BLLAs ESC. The easiest way to configure the ESC is using the BLLA configurator app. It used to be part of the Chrome App Store, but currently it is available as a standalone app and it is available for Chrome OS, Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. After installing and opening the app, you're going to see this screen. What you need to do in order to configure your ESC using this app is to connect your flight controller to your computer and of course make sure that the ESC is connected to the flight controller. Now you can see over here, we can see USB modem and it's going to vary depending on the driver that you're using. And then you need to power the ESC using your LiPo battery. Now we can hit connect and read the setup from the ESC. And if everything goes well, you're going to see four ESCs. If one of them is missing, of course, if using four ESCs, it means that either one of the ESC is burnt or the signal is not properly connected to the flight controller. In this screen, we can calibrate the ESC. You can also flash firmware individually to each ESC and you can also flash all of them together. So you can just press this button, select the version that you would like to use. It's going to select the type of ESC by default. So I don't recommend to change this value and then just hit flash. And then all the ESCs that are connected are going to be flashed with the version that you chose. In addition, you can also change the motor direction, which is one of the most important features. So you don't have to change the order of the wires of the EC. You can simply use this feature. And if you built your own quadcopter, you probably encountered this issue before. So by just selecting these values, you can choose between reversed and normal values and bidirectional and bidirectional reversed. I used for 3D flying. So in case you're using normal motors, just select normal or reversed. Then after adjusting the motor direction values, you should click right setup and then your configuration is going to be saved. After that, you can just simply hit disconnect. And by the way, do not forget to remove the propellers from your quadcopter because things can go wrong and your motors can start spinning. And in order to stay on the safe side, it's highly recommended to remove the propellers. In case you're using Windows, you also have an option to use the BLLE Suite configuration app. First, I'm going to show you the BLLES configurator. So please note that you have two apps, one for BLLES and the second one is for BLLE32. This is the normal BLLE suite. This app is a little bit more advanced than the one I showed you before, but in my experience, the BLLE configurator app is more user-friendly and for most cases will do the job. Now, if you're using a BLLE32 ESC, your only option to configure the BLA32 ESC on the computer is using the BLA32 configurator app. What you need to do in order to connect to the app is to connect your flight controller using the micro USB port to your computer, connect a LiPo battery. As I mentioned before, don't forget to remove the propellers, then select the port that has been recognized, hit connect, and then hit read setup. If everything will go well, you're going to see the list of ESC. You can see that it recognized four Hacker C 45 Ampere ESCs. Then you can just select the ESC that you would like to configure and you can also select multiple ESCs. So for example, if I would like to change the direction of motors for ESC4, make sure that only the digit four is shown over here. And then we can just choose between reversed, normal, and also the other two options that I showed you before. Then when you're done, hit right setup and the configuration is going to be written to the ESC. Using the BLLE Suite 32 and also the normal BLLE Suite, you can also perform calibration for the ESCs. And you can also use this tab in order to check that the motors were calibrated correctly. So you have to press, I understand risk, propellers are removed. And then we can just control each ESC individually and also all of them together. Now, unfortunately, the BLA32 configurator app is not available on Mac. And that's why I'm keeping this old computer as a backup computer for configuring BLA32 ESCs. But now there is a new solution thanks to Stefan Skog. So what you need to do is to download the BLA32 app from the Google Play. And I really hope it's going to be available for iOS as well. Then open the app, 
it is going to show you a warning that this is just a beta version and there might be some issues. So keep your computer as a backup. That's why I'm still not going to throw away my computer. Then you have a couple of options to connect the flight controller to your Android device. And it is important to make sure that your Android device supports OTG devices. I checked it using this cheap Android phone and I also tried it with my Galaxy S8 Plus and it worked properly. So if you have a micro USB port, you can just buy this simple micro USB to micro USB cable. And you have also another option to use an OTG adapter. This one on one side has a USB-C port and on the other one you have a normal USB port. So you can use a normal USB cable such as this one and plug it to the Galaxy or whichever Android device that you have that supports OTG devices and is using USB-C and then you'll be able to connect to the app. In this video, I'm going to use the micro USB to micro USB cable. So one end plugs to the flight controller, the second one to the phone. Of course, you can also use a tablet. Then you can choose the default app for using this device. You can see that currently no USB devices are shown, but when you press this selection tool, you can see now the STM VCP device and we can hit connect. Now the USB is connected but you can see that when reading the settings, no ESCs are shown since we didn't power the ESC using a LiPo battery. After connecting the battery, we can hit read, but still it's not going to work properly because we're going to need to disconnect from the flight controller and then reconnect. And if the LiPo battery was connected before pressing connect for the first time, as you can see, now it's going to work properly. So now we discovered four ESCs everything is good and you can see over here hacker c 45 amperes and you can also see the version currently using the android app you won't be able to flash new versions but you will be able to change the moto direction which is the most useful feature on the go because for example if you just replace the motor on the field you'll be able to change the moto direction using this app now this might not seem like a revolutionary app, but I think that this app might prove itself really useful. So I recommend that if you have an Android phone, you should give it a try. And I've been using this device from SpeedyB for the last couple of months. And I did find myself on the field when I had to configure something using Betaflight. And this thing is really useful. And the nice thing about it is that it's also compatible with iOS devices that does not support OTG devices. So you just need to plug one end to your flight controller, power it up using a LiPo battery, and then connect over Bluetooth and use the SpeedyB iOS device. And I really hope that one day these apps are going to be integrated so you'll be able to configure your ESCs using this device as well. So thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about changing the motor direction or any other questions about BLLES or BLA32 ESCs, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.